In this session, we will discuss De Morgan's theorem. So there are two basic statements. The first statement states that the complement of the sum of two or more variables is equal to the product of the complement of the individual variables. Now what does that mean? The complement of the sum of two or more variables. So I have the sum of two variables and I take the complement. And that is equal to the product of the complement of the individual terms. So I have the complement of the individual term A bar and the complement of the second individual term B bar, I take its product. So the complement of the sum of two variables is equal to the product of the complement of the individual terms. And this can be extended for three or more variables. So if I have A plus B plus C and so on, the whole complement, and that is equal to A bar dot B bar dot C bar dot D bar and so on. Right? So let us write the statement, the complement of sum of two or more variables is equal to the product of the complements is equal to the product of the complements of the variables. So this is the first expression. Similarly, we have the second expression which states that the complement of the product of two or more variables. I have the product of two variables a, b, I take its complement and that is equal to the sum of the complement of the variables. So what does this mean? I have the complement of the first variable, I have the complement of the second variable, I take its sum. And this again can be extended for three or more variables. So that is a dot b dot c, the whole bar, is essentially equal to a bar plus b bar plus c bar and so on. Right? So the complement of the product. So we can make the change here itself. The complement of the product of two or more variables is equal to the sum of the complement of the variables. So this gives us the second statement of the De Morgan's theorem. So now how do we prove De Morgan's theorem? So let's take a case where we need to prove De Morgan's theorem for two variables. So now let us consider the proof of De Morgan's theorem for two variables. So I have a plus b whole bar equals a bar dot d bar and the second expression which is a dot b whole bar equals a bar plus b bar. So we need to prove this for two variables. So let me consider the two variables a, b. So we have four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what do we need? I need a plus b and I need a dot b. So we need a plus b which is 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is nothing but the OR operation. I also need a dot b which is nothing but the AND operation 0, 0, 0, 1. We need their complements. So we have a plus b the whole bar, which is the complement of a plus b. So it is the complement of a plus b. The complement of this is what I write here. So this is 1, 0, 0, 0. So if we call this as equation 1 and 2, so this becomes the LHS of equation 1. 
So similarly, I have a dot b the whole bar, which happens to be the complement of a dot b. So I write the complement of this here. So we get one 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 c. So this is the LHS of equation two. So now I need to find the RHS of equation 1 and 2. We need A bar and B bar. So I need A bar and B bar. So A bar is complement of A which is 1, 1, 0, 0. I need the complement of B which is 1, 0, 1, 0. So what is RHS of first? It is a bar dot b bar. So I need to and these two expressions. So if I and these two, I get a bar dot b bar. So 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0, and then I have a 0 here. So this is the RHS of equation 1. And then I have a bar plus b bar. So I need to odd these two. So we have a bar plus b bar. So 1 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, and then 0. This is RHS of equation 2. So what do we observe? The LHS of equation 1 is equal to the RHS of equation 1. Right? So A plus B whole bar is equal to A bar dot B bar and similarly the LHS of equation 2 is equal to the RHS of equation 2. So therefore we have A dot B the whole bar is equal to A bar plus B bar. So hence we have proved De Morgan's theorem for two variables. So similarly we can do the proof for De Morgan's theorem for three variables and even for four variables. Right? So for three variables instead of AB, I would have A, B, and C. C so would have eight combinations 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. And similarly, we need to find all of them here. And if I have four variables, I have A, B, C, D. So I have 16 combinations 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So by writing the truth table for the individual components, we can finally prove the first statement and the second statement of De Morgan's theorem.